What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel another video. Today I'm going to be doing another fairly simple pour. We're going to be using some really bright kind of happy colors today. I have a hot pink, I have a turquoise, I have a red, and I have a violet. My base coat is going to just be a white which is going to really help these colors stand out from the canvas. I just, <laughs> I'm excited. My schedule has been insane, so it's been really difficult for me to upload as much as I would like. And that makes me a little sad, but here we are. How's everybody doing this wonderful day? I hope everybody's doing amazing. I'm having a great day so far. I'm back to doing what I enjoy. Getting a little bit of much needed stress relief right now. And I hope you guys are too. So I've been reading the comments. I'm having a hard time, you know, getting to the comments as much as I normally would. I'm still not quite in the swing of things yet, but I've noticed that a lot of you happen to live close to the Detroit area. Now, some of you are Canadians and some of you are not. Some of you live in the Michigan area as well. Um, if you do live close to the area, just drop a comment below because I'm really curious to see how many of you actually live in this area and if you are familiar with any kind of artist functions that maybe would be going on here as I'm still very new to the area but I'm very much excited to see what's actually out there it's a little bit of white look at how heavy that white is goodness that white just sinks right to the bottom some of this hot pink. I really think this hot pink on these darker colors is gonna really stand out gorgeous. All right, so we're finishing our layer. And then we're gonna set all these colors off to the side. We're gonna get a nice base coat down because there is one to two drops of silicone in each one of these colors with the exception of the white. With the white, there is no silicone at all. So the white is just going to be my base coat. I'm probably going to be using, as per my usual, entirely too much paint. But you guys know me. I'd rather have more on there than not enough because if you don't have a decent base coat, that silicone is going to contact the canvas. And if it contacts the canvas, the silicone is going to make the paint pull away and that's just not a good look. That's not what we're going for. All right, so there's still a lot of bubbles in this base coat. That's part of the, the problem with me having to, um, with my schedule being like this, is I don't have as much time to mix and let the colors sit. But we're going to make this work anyway. All right, so I have my colors all layered nicely in the cup. And I'm just going to drizzle it out of the cup. And we'll see what we get. It is a gorgeous day outside today, by the way. I love it. The sun is shining. It's nice and warm outside kind of just glorious out there. So I'm going to give it a little spin. Kind of change the direction of some of these lines. Now I know this is looking a lot like a ring pour right now, but there's also silicone in it. So it is definitely not going to be a ring pour. I'm going to stop this stream before it gets too muddy. As, as the colors get closer to the end, they start to mix and churn even more. So, all right, I think, I think we're actually ready. I'm kind of excited about this one because of the, that bright pink right there is gorgeous with that purple. Then we have the red and you have the spots of white and that white had no silicone in it at all. So let's see what it opens up into.
You might have spun it a little too hard, eh? Wow, what the heck, that is gorgeous. It looks just like a nebula or some kinds of clouds over there. And now that silicone is starting to push through to the surface. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this heat gun over here. Let's see what kind of magic we can pull out of this thing. Can we get it warm? Oh my goodness. Do y'all see that? That hot pink is just phenomenal right now. That is crazy. You know what that looks like? I think it looks like like a rose in the center. That's gorgeous. This gives me an idea. Same color, same technique, no silicone at all. Because that is phenomenal right there. And on my next composition, I could even maybe spread that out a little bit more and stretch it. But man, I love this one. This one's freaking gorgeous. This thing is beautiful. These are definitely not colors I normally would use, but this thing came out so stunning, dude. I love it. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.